up to video Rona. And I'll just give you this as a little prelude. Here is Gage, who's about to ride him. And he's just standing there at the mounting block, just as pretty as you please, with nobody even watching. All right, I'm gonna pause this and get over here and get started on the video. Hang on just a second, Gage. This is Roanoke. He is a 10-year-old strawberry roan. He stands 15'2". He is a well-built animal. He could definitely carry some weight. This guy would be a great trail-to-rail type horse. He is so pretty. He would also do good in field trial. But let me tell you, on the trail, he is so amazing. He'd do good for anybody. Gage's going to step up on him and ride him off. Let you see how he does. He did take a couple steps there, and he's probably going to. But that's about what he's going to do. Maybe a step forward and a step back. He does have some motor. He is not for a beginner rider, but if you know the basics and you like to feel the wind in your hair, this is a great horse. He also neck reins and canters. So this guy is broke, broke, broke on the trail. 10 year old gelding grade. We're gonna take him to the obstacle course. All right, here is Roanoke on the obstacle course. This guy is not He's not a hot horse. Not hot at all. He's nothing scary. He just has motor. And he's just going to take those couple of steps when you get on. When you first get on him in the morning, he's going to be a little fresh. Nice cool day. He's going to be a little fresh. So again, this is just not your deadhead beginner horse. Um, so I just want to make sure that I always tell you that, you know, on a scale from 1 to 10, he's probably a 5 to a 6. Steffi, who's behind me here, absolutely loves this horse. She'll ride off and just leave us, take off and go different directions, and then come back. He just goes anywhere you point him at any time. Back him up there just a little bit. God, I sounded like my mother there. Alrighty. We are going to take him to the pavement so you can see how good this horse skates, because let me tell you, it's amazing. Turn the music up. Oh, I love it. All right, we're gonna take him down to the creek. Video of the, of the buggy chasing Roanoke. Dogs chasing Roanoke. As we're heading down to the creek. This guy has a head full of scents. Which in most cases, a good thing. Every once in a while, they can be too smart. You ever find a mare that's just too dang smart? A few of those. creek and see him cross it in a little trail. Here we have got Mr. Roanoke at the creek. This guy is so beautiful. Gosh, he's beautiful. I swear he's gotten even prettier being here. His mane is just grown and it's that beautiful flax and color. Those pretty white stockings. So this guy is not scared of anything. If you want a brave and independent horse, this is a really, really good one. You ask him to go off that bank, don't ask him if you don't want to go. Flashy, flashy. Pickles is done. He's going to bring him up and stop him and park him out. Let you see him stretch. And then we're going to canter this guy up the hill. You can see his pretty canter. I know a lot of people love the cantering horses. And if they've got the ability to do it or if we feel like we can get them comfortably doing it without messing their gait up, um, we will definitely do it for you. All right, he's going to get him to park out for you. We're going to take him up the hill and let him do a little bit of cantering for you. What a nice 
nice little canner. Good job.